In this question, we're asked to find the electric field at distance z above the midpoint between two equal charges. So this is what it looks like. We have the x-axis, the z-axis, and we have a positive charge at these two points, at the source points, and we want to find the electric field at the field point here. And just by deduction, we know that this positive charge will be pointing out, giving a electric field that direction, and this other charge will be giving an electric field this direction. So these two should be equal and opposite and cancel, and leave us with only an electric field in the z hat direction. Well, let's actually run through the math really quickly. And this is a good introductory problem because there's there's no integrals, it's just superposition, so we're just going to add up the two contributions and work with our script r here, and remember that script r vector is the r vector, little lowercase r vector, pointing to the field point, minus the r primed vector pointing to the source point. So first we need to get some information, so we need to find, we'll start here, and we're going to the source point. So source point is little r with the uh, it's a vector as well, little r with the uh, r naught, and we'll call it r naught one. And so uh, going from the origin to the source point is r primed one. Going from the origin to the field point is just little r. It is a vector also, and going from the source point to the second field point is a little r primed again, so r2 primed. And then we want the script r going from the source point to the field point, so script r1 goes like this, and script r2 going to go from the other source point to the field point. Okay, so now we have it set up, we just need to acquire the information. So R1 is equal to x minus x naught x hat plus y minus y naught y hat plus z minus z not z hat. So let's assess for R1 now. We have, let's look at just going towards the field point, so the unprimed. So we're looking at this R now, and we know that at this point x is equal to 0, so we can cross that off. Uh, there is no y coordinates at all on this because we just have the x and z axis. We can cross those off. And is there a z component? Yes, there is. So we're some distance z up here. So we'll leave that in. That is okay. Now going to r1 uh, prime, we consider the x. Is there an x uh, component here? There is. And these two, um, we'll call this two here a distance d apart. So d spans this whole way. So that means that half of that distance right here is going to be d over 2 and at this point we're going to be at negative d over 2 here positive d over 2 and so our x coordinate is a negative d over 2 negative d over 2 Okay, so we have that set up, and remember these two negatives are going to cancel, making that positive, but that's for the, we'll get to that in a moment. So now the z and the r1 prime, is there any z? No, because they're at z equals 0, so we can cross that off. So r1 prime is equal to a negative of negative d over 2, so we have a positive d over 2 in the x hat direction, and we have a positive z in the z hat direction. Now let's do the exact same for this uh, script r2 vector. So script r2 is going to be 
well this here, so let's consider it. So looking, it's going to have the same uh, from the origin to the field point. So the unprimed, we have x is at point 0. So there is no x there. And there's no y either. This, I'm just using this for R2 here. Then is there a z? We do have a z going up here, so that is okay, we'll leave that in. And now it should be the uh, very similar, so we're going to r prime 2 now, and r prime 2, do we have an x coordinate? We do, it is at, so we're going looking for this right now, it is at positive d over 2, so d over 2 is positive, plug it in for that, which will actually give us a negative, but just got to keep track of the signs. And then do we have uh, a z prime? And we don't because we are at z equals zero. So cross that off. So r2 is a negative d over two. Um, and it's actually positive here, but remember in the equation, you're doing the difference between the two. So it's x minus x prime. So that's where the negative comes from. So we have a negative d over 2, x prime, or sorry, x hat, plus a, again, a z, z hat. Okay, so we have what we need now. We're now going to work with superposition. So we have e is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught of q, uh, script r hat, divided by script r hat squared. And the other important thing to know is that a univector divided by a magnitude squared is equal to a vector over r to the 3 half power because remember a univector is your vector divided by the magnitude and so that is where this comes from so now we're going to use superposition so e is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. I'm just going to add these these two up here. So we have Q, a positive Q, times script R1 vector over R1 to the 3 halves plus Q R2 vector over magnitude r2 to the 3 halves. So this is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times, and we can actually pull the q's out because they have uh, the same, the charge has the same magnitude as both positive q in this case. So we just need to plug in r1 now, which is d over 2 x hat plus z, z hat, all divided by the magnitude to the 3 halves power, so d over 2 squared plus z squared to the 3 halves power. And now we add it with this other r2, script r2 here. So we have negative d over 2 x hat, d over 2 x hat plus z, z hat, and conveniently they have the same common denominator here, 2 squared plus z squared to the 3 halves power. So we're going to add these up, and we're going to see that this d over 2 will cancel here, a positive and a negative. So this leaves us with 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times 2 z, z hat, divided by z over 2 squared plus z squared. That is your final answer.